Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September. So this could happen at any time in September, okay? But keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? So, oh, we got three cards already. So... Rat, someone is working behind your back. Someone is working against you behind your back. Scales, keep your life in balance. So this is like a justice card, right? So maybe there's some karma that is coming. Feathers, ooh, or feather. Someone you know is undependable and insecure so you got somebody around you that is undependable and insecure working behind your back there is going to be justice we've been seeing this for a while you need to uh, keep your life in balance that means don't lose your cool don't lose your cool um, there could be even some news of legalities, you know, with that scales card. Act with integrity. Be honest with yourself. You're going to have to uh, remain balanced throughout this month, okay? Um, there is someone around you that is absolutely positively going to test you. No doubt about it. This is somebody that you cannot trust. What are we? I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra. What do we have for Sagittarius? I wanted to say Aquarius as well, so some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Bad advice from a friend or family member. This is somebody that doesn't have your back. Ooh, Phoenix rising from the ashes. So when you get this card, something really horrible may have happened in your life. Something extremely horrible, you know, if this is like losing a home, losing a relationship. Uh, it's like you had a tower moment. Something happened that was... Uh, very disruptive to you. It may have... You know, it was horrible, absolutely horrible. But this is receiving something better now. It's a whole new life. It's you, you are about to embark on a whole new life. Whatever you're getting is, is uh, something so much better, okay? Um, you're, this is even more beautiful, even better than what you had before. So I don't know what has happened, but it obviously has been very traumatic to you. Um, I mean, that phoenix rising from the ashes, that's like the death, okay? It's like a death card. It really is. It's like something or and a tower wrapped in up into one. So something has happened in your life that you are now going to rise up from, okay? And it's you're going to have something better than you even expected you are probably going to be so happy when you receive whatever this is you you'll probably understand why all that happened you may not understand it but it's a beautiful transformation put it that way you are going through a beautiful transformation let's get one more card you're going to rise above this and be even more beautiful than you ever were before. You know what I'm saying? Bad timing. So there's something about bad timing here. Maybe you, you haven't completely risen yet. It's coming. It really is major transformation here new sexual partner for some of you
Maybe you needed to go through some sort of transition with a rat to get you to this beautiful place that you're at. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful transformation. I just, I just want to reiterate that. Whatever you have went through, I hate to say it, but it served you well. What do we have for Sagittarius? Woo! Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You're going to be having some sort of passionate new beginning with somebody. This is absolutely beautiful. You're good. I know that you're going to be extremely happy with the outcome. Whatever's happening, I can see it with that phoenix rising. It's like on top of the world, on top of the world. So September is obviously going to be a good month for you. You have received some bad advice from a friend or a family member. This person is a rat. They've been holding you down. They are insecure. They're undependable. They have, they've caused your de demise. If you, yeah, because the, the phoenix is like a demise, seriously. But this demise that you have went through has forced your transformation. And let me tell you, it's an absolutely beautiful one. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Page of Swords reversed. Eight of Coins reversed. Something didn't work out in the past because you were dealing with somebody that was very childish, immature, lied a lot, didn't communicate well. This person had a the mentality of a child, put it that way. That's why it didn't work out. Very aggressive. Chariot reversed. Five of coins reversed. Nine of coins. Death reversed. That's your transformation. Hierophant reversed. Seven of wands reversed. Reversals are actually good in many cases. Okay. I see you being very stable, solid, secure, uh, self sufficient. You have gained so much strength and beauty from this experience. Um. I feel like there's been a delay. There's been a delay in you starting your new life because you probably had a lack of faith or you were committed to somebody so much. You were so highly committed to whoever this person was. This person was really, really, really holding you back, fighting with you, making you feel down. It feels like they were attacking you, you know, bringing you down, trying to bring you down, trying to hold you down, not letting you fly, but you're flying now. You are definitely flying now. You're flying. You're flying high. You're in a, you're in a very, very, very good space. Um... Some of you may have become single. You're single. You're enjoying your life. You may not be looking for anything. You're going through a period of healing, that transformation. Something could show up very, very suddenly. You're not looking for it. There is a turning point here with the five of coins reverse right in the middle. It's actually better in reverse. That's a turning point. It's receiving something, receiving something that is going to probably bring balance because the next card is the six of pentacles. It's like you're receiving a gift. This is uh, securing something. You're going to be receiving something secure, receiving some sort of help. There's been some sort of delay, though. I think that you've been outcast. You know, you've been outcast by somebody that uh, was very mean-spirited. This person did not have good morals. They did not have a good conscience. 
I feel like um, holding on is getting old wherever you've been. It's like you're ready, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready to move on. You're ready to uh, have success in your life. <clears throat> I think that things have been extremely stagnant. I just got to be honest. But I feel like things are about to speed up. I feel like you've been through a near-death experience with that death card reversed. Or you're going through, you're still going through this transformation. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Your transformation isn't over yet. It's not. I just got to be honest. We have the chariot reverse and the death card reverse. That's, those are both transformation cards. It's not over yet. Okay, or they'd be upright. So this is why we do reversals because we want to get the real story. Okay. I feel like you're still going to be put on the spot by whoever this rat is. And this is a message that you need to hear. This person is still going to challenge you. And it may have something to do with children or it has to do with money. I feel like you are in a very, very good place with who you are. And you, and you really, and when it says keep your life in balance, don't let this person take you down. They're going to try. They're, and we've talked about this. You may need to block somebody with the Eight of Wands reverse. You may need to block them. You may need to stop communicating with them. You know, there's there's a need to stop fighting with somebody, and I'm, and I, and we all fight. It's not I'm not just pointing the finger at you. We all want need to defend ourselves. But with the Eight of Wands or the Seven of Wands reverse, this is like stepping down, giving up. You know, maybe you've been giving. Maybe it's time to give up and, and to bring yourself some inner peace. You definitely have an enemy here. Um, I feel like it's somebody that uh, it's a family member or somebody that you have been living with or they, that you've lived with in the past. This person is halting. Okay, they're stopping your rise. They're it's like they got your it's like you're rising and they're holding you down. They're holding you, pushing you down, they're pushing you down, they're pushing you down, they're pushing you down. You know, they don't want you to rise higher than them. I feel like you need to take charge of your life. You need to take the lead. You need to get in the driver's seat. You may need to leave this person behind. Don't give them your energy at all. Just do not. Do not communicate with them. That's advice. You know who this person is. Do not communicate with them. You have somebody else here, and I don't and, and that's what you should be focusing on. Focus on your future. Do not let whoever this person is that is so jealous of you hold you down. Okay? And, it, and when there's anger, you know, that's... You got to control your anger. Control your anger because then you're letting, you're give, letting them win. They're winning when you're, when you're losing it. When you're losing your control. When you're, when you're, and I see losing control. When you are getting angry and you have an angry outburst, it's like, that's what they want. Okay, they want to see you lose control. Because then your vibration changes. So keep yourself at a high vibration. You're definitely going to be challenged by somebody. This person is trying to stop you. They're trying to stop you in some way, okay? There is somebody here that I believe may even have some mental health issues. They are very insecure with who they are. 
and that's why they it's almost like they try to um It's like they're trying to stop your 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 transformation. This person, but I feel like they have mental health issues. They're I feel like this person is not very uh, successful with their own life, and they can't. It's really, it's like they can't stop themselves because they can't think clearly. This person has their own insecurity. Something isn't working out for them, and misery loves company. This person may be very very lonely. Misery loves company. You have a new sexual partner here. You have you have some somebody you know that you may be deepening a bond with with that passion card, but you're still going through a transformation right now. Some of you may not be looking for a commitment. Maybe you've gotten out of a commitment or you've been with somebody that didn't want commitment. I feel like there's definitely going to be a change. Knight of Coins, Three of Wands, Queen of Coins. So, now I was talking about your person, whoever this person is. You have somebody here that is very solid, very stable, very secure, hardworking. Um, that has something for you. This is a secure opportunity. Get prepared because something is coming. A decision. This is making a definite decision with the Three of Wands. Okay, you definitely have something that is about to arrive. Get prepared. This is like an Earth sign. I believe it's an Earth sign that has something for you. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Three of Wands is an arrival, okay? Something is arriving for you. You are about to receive something. A decision has been made. There's, big, there's, there's a bright, 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 bright future ahead. There may even be a relocation here. Somebody may be packing their bags. You are receiving a very secure offer. You are from somebody that is very real. This is somebody who is very hard working. Um, this person may be at a distance. I don't know. But get prepared. Get prepared because you are about to receive something solid, something stable, something real from an individual that is very practical, responsible, hard working, uh, successful, maybe even pretty independent. This is this is somebody that is very nurturing, that is very generous. You definitely have a generous offer that is coming. It is from, an, I feel like it's from an earth sign. This is going to assist with your transformation. This could even be a job offer for some of you. You are you got somebody here that is so jealous of you. There's no doubt about it. This person may tell lies about you. They just do not want you to rise. They do not want you to rise to the position. They don't want you to rise above them. So, and this may be definitely be somebody that you work with. Doesn't have to be, but I think that you are in a very secure position. It could be somebody that you work with, or it could be somebody that you have lived with. I feel like you need to know your value. You have a lot to offer. I feel like you are going maybe some of you are traveling or you're moving you're moving someplace where there is stability you are receiving a secure offer from somebody this is something that is real that is stable that is solid there is some hard work ahead there is some hard work ahead because I feel like this has to do with traveling or moving or something like that with that three of coins. Let me get another card. Son. 
extremely happy, beautiful, new life, life-giving energy. Yes, this is absolutely beautiful. So you are going to be, I feel like going in a new direction with that three of wands. You are headed towards something that is absolutely positively beautiful. I mean, that is the sun. The sun is free where you can just be yourself. It's, it's at a very, we're being at a very, very high vibration. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a yes answer. This is bliss being accepted. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I feel like you've been neglected, you've been abandoned, you've been uh, put down by somebody that is in your circle. This person really does not want you to succeed. They are so jealous. But you're moving away from this person. I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey. I feel like you are, this is a new day. This is a life-giving energy. This is a blessing. You are about to receive a blessing of some sort. The Queen of Pentacles with the Sun card. This is a, this is a yes, yes. It's beautiful. Get prepared for an offer that you can't refuse. It's so beautiful. It's definitely a time of growth as well. I feel like you're going to be laying a foundation. Maybe you're moving. You're laying a foundation maybe someplace else. The Knight, of, the Knight of Pentacles lays foundations. That's hard work. So I know that there is some hard work ahead. Anyhow, I do believe that, that you are headed someplace where there's some sort of financial security. And there's also inner security. Okay, there's nurturing here. It's a time of growth for you. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful transformation, but transformations aren't easy. They're hard. They hurt. It's painful. So I feel like you've lost faith. I feel like you may have lost some faith. You may be, be in disbelief over an individual that is, you know, very insecure with themselves. This person is miserable. They want a misery loves company. They're doing whatever they can to keep you down. You're rising. You're rising. You're glowing. You're beautiful. Everybody can see it. It's absolutely clear. So this person's going to continue to try. They're going to continue to poke you. Poke, 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 poke. And I see that. They're going to continue to challenge you. But they can't stop your transformation. They can't stop your rise. They can. They're going to try, though. We've talked about this. Beautiful. Yes. Extreme happiness in the future, vibrating at a whole new level. There is somebody here that has something for you. This person sees your value. They see your value. You can just be yourself. You don't have to pretend. You don't, you don't have to fight. You don't have to walk on eggshells. This person sees something beautiful in you. This is somebody that is very down to earth, that is very grounded, that is very nurturing. Get prepared. Get prepared for an offer that is going to make you extremely happy. I think it's from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. <laughs> 